This is a Tetra City update for June 2011. Tetra City version 0.3 is now available for download on SourceForge, which is based on Subversion Revision 116. While my development environment is now Ubuntu 11.04 Natty Narwhal, I have provided packages for both Windows and Ubuntu Linux to download. The Windows package comes with an extract of the Ruby environment and all required libraries. The Ubuntu Deb package will install the software into the opt Tetra City directory and the user will need to install the Ruby dependencies. This presentation will be using revision 118 of Tetra City from the Subversion repository which features some of my recent changes to the menus. Here are the new features that have been added to the game. A scrolling city skyline has been added to the title screen. The main menu now gives the user the ability to start a new game, continue an existing game, game options, control display, and information on how to play. Each of the pieces now have a unique color. In the future, I would like to allow the user to be able to select the color scheme of the blocks. The blocks are now also sprite based, which gives me the ability to make the blocks more visually appealing. A piece queue has been added to the right side of the screen, which shows the next five pieces that will be given to the player. I have added an option to allow the user to choose if the pieces are completely random or if each seven pieces are unique, like each seven pieces are drawn from a bag. The player can now hold a piece by pressing the left alt key. Bonuses are now awarded when the player completes a T-spin. Additionally, more points are awarded when a T-spin clears one or more lines. A ghost piece is now displayed, which shows the player where the piece will land if it is hard dropped to the bottom. There is an option setting to turn off the ghost piece. In the latest revision, the player can only go to the city design phase at the end of the year. I made this change because people may not be aware that they need to periodically switch to the city design phase to progress in the game. I will need to add a warning or a countdown when the game is about to transition into the city design phase. Other behind-the-scenes changes have been made, such as a throttler which prevents the game from running too fast on some systems. The piece arrays are now sized based on the shape of the piece instead of using all 5x5 five five arrays. The piece rotation code has also been improved. The game over screen now shows the total number of singles, doubles, triples, quadruples, and T-spins completed. It also shows the total amount of money accumulated throughout the game.